Hey, it's Monica B, creator of HeyMonicaB.com, a blooming resource on Ayurveda and author of In Your Element, a blooming Ayurveda guide to creating your best life. I help people reach their highest graces by making Ayurveda accessible and fun and made for real life. So today we are going to talk about the very best foods for Vata. Raise your hands if you are feeling like it's Vata time, if it's Vata season where you're at, or if you are a Vata person, Vata is the dosha that is the energy of movement. So Vatas move fast, they're subtle, they're windy, they change their mind a lot, they usually have a light build, they talk fast, they talk with their hands, um, they tend to multitask and take on way too many projects, and then they're like, I'm losing my mind because I can't have any structure or traction with any of these projects. Does that feel like you? <laughs> if some of those things are true, you might be a Vata. Um, and either way, when it's fall and winter, it is Vata season. So I wanted to teach you some of the best foods for Vata, specifically because along with all those other things, Vatas can have digestive problems. They get the bloaties, the gassies, the tooties, the constipation, the cramps, all the stuff that happens like down here is um, usually related to Vata. And so let's talk about that. I wanna go through four things that you can do to improve uh, the things that you're eating so that you can help balance that and feel so much better in your digestion as well as in your mind. Also, I have a quick guide below if you wanna grab that download and I've included 770 of the best foods for Vata that's included with that download as well. So after you watch this video, be sure to grab that um, as a Vata quick guide and for the 70 best foods. Okay. Here we go. Number one, all foods should be warm, at least until you feel that settling, until you feel settling in your mind, until you feel a settling in your digestion. Um, most of us go at the speed of light because we feel like we've got too much to do or we'll be inadequate if we don't do all these things or somebody's relying on us or we got, ah, da, 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 da. so we try and do all of these things and we feel that racing. That racing feeling is vata. So when we have warm foods, it brings a soothing comfort and a groundedness to our entire being, our mind, body, and spirit, not just our digestion, although it works there too. So think warm foods. We're not going for salads. We're not going for sushi. Sorry, you can always go back to sushi when you have uh, when your digestion sorts itself out. We're not going for salads, um, sandwiches. All of those things that are very, very cold that we tend to just reach for because frankly, we don't have a lot of time. So we just reach for something cold and easy. We eat it, usually when we're doing something else, typing emails or on a call or whatever, and we move on our way. So I want you to think about having warm foods. You could do oatmeal for breakfast. You could even do a nice little English muffin with a little bit of ghee on it, sprinkle a little cinnamon or a little lemon pepper. You could have... Um, baked apples or baked pears for breakfast, which is amazing and so warm and lovely. I mean, think about it this way. You're probably reaching for a coffee or a tea in the morning. Why do we do that? Because it's warm. And so make sure that the meals are warm. Lunch and dinner can be really similar foods, um, but just make sure that lunch is in larger quantity than dinner. Dinner should be smaller quantity. So that's number one. Make sure your foods are warm. Number two, vatas have this crazy thing. They don't gain weight very easily, but they're so paranoid about gaining weight. They're very worried about it, very concerned. So vatas will eat a lot of vegetables because vegetables are healthy. But I'm telling you, don't go veggie crazy because that's actually not what you need. Vegetables have, they're amazing, right? They're, they're full of prana. They come from the earth. They're, they're very nourishing for us up to a point because vegetables all by themselves don't have enough of that groundedness, that pull, that sweet taste, which is one of the six tastes in Ayurveda. Vegetables are more bitter and astringent in tastes, which actually break the body down. Right? So for somebody who's like a kapha type person who has a lot of structure to them, vegetables are awesome because they're helping break the tissues down so they can find their balance. Vatas are trying to build their structure. So don't have, go veggie crazy and have too many of those veggies because the veggies, while they're good in prana, they're not really helping to build that physical structure in the way that healthy carbs can. So don't go veggie crazy. Balance it out with nice carbs, whether they're healthy grains or nuts or even a little bit of protein. Um, that would be so much better than just going overly veggie crazy.
Number three is not too dry. Make sure that you're not just like munching on pretzels and crackers and rice cakes and those little Asian rice crackers and all the dry, 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 munch, 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 munch. Because that's what can happen. If you're munching on a lot of dry foods all the time and you're constantly looking for something else, it's because your body's actually not getting that grounded satisfaction from foods that are like building and restorative. The, gr the crunchy, dry foods, you can have that sometimes. It's not a huge, terrible problem, but if you're having it a lot, even if you cook your toast way too much and it's like, <laughs> toast, it's too dry. Bachas are already dry. And so in Ayurveda, like increases like. So if we're trying to balance out vata, that means we're trying to balance out dryness. And then we will use the opposite quality to balance. Dry plus dry plus dry plus dry equals way too much dry. We need to add wetness, oiliness into our foods, and think like soups, stews, um, one pot meals. You can drizzle a little oil on them. You can drizzle a little ghee. You can have some butter on that. Again, vatas, don't be afraid of gaining weight because it's just not really in your nature to do that. And if you have foods that are more... Um, grounding, more oily, more soupy, you're going to be more satisfied. So you're not going to go running around looking for the dry, munchy, crunchy, crunchy, crunchy things eight times a day because you'll actually have some decent, good, grounded, satisfactory meals in thine belly. Number four is eat three intentional meals. Intentional meals. You know what I was talking about? Munching all day long, kind of like a little snacky, little, little munch, 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 little goat. Yeah. So for vatas, we want to build in structure because vatas naturally are like the wind, right? So they'll go all over the place. They actually are great with spontaneity. They love it. They thrive in it. They can do that. But to restore their balance, there needs to be some structure. So have three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, dinner. And sometimes vatas will need a fourth meal because sometimes vatas can't handle a lot of food at one time. Raise your hands if you feel that. If you feel that, be, comment below. Be like, I can't handle a lot of food at one time because there are some people out there, they can't do like full big meals. So you'll have a little bit, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and you might need like a fourth meal around like eight o'clock at night. Something small, something simple to keep you sleepy. Because sometimes vatas don't have enough food and then it'll wake them up in the middle of the night, which is a vata problem. It's a vata cause and a vata problem. It's a circle. So you might need a fourth meal, something simple, like a little bowl of rice or a little small handle, handful of almonds or a little handful of raisins or dates or something like that. That's just a little mini meal that will keep you sustained and keep you sleepy. So I hope these four things helped you. Number one was make sure your foods are warm. Number two, make sure your not going veggie crazy. Number three, make sure your foods are not all dry. You need some moisture and some oils in those foods. And number four is three meals, maybe four if you need that fourth meal. I hope this helped you today. If it did, don't forget to grab the download below. It's the Vata Quick Guide. And then I've also added those 70 best foods for Vata below. In addition, I also have my book on Amazon. Go grab a copy of In Your Element. It is a full roadmap of Ayurveda, exactly how we should be using it in our daily, daily life. If this served you today, like it, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe to my channel because I put out new content every week and you can receive new trainings about how to bring Ayurveda to life. So let's do that. We're gonna keep bringing Ayurveda to life. Mwah.